so it's just me on my own today. Um, I want to do a easy blue eye makeup routine, aka what I will go to for most of my days off work. Just something bright and bold to make my eyes stand out. So give it a go. Also, I'm sure that you can do this on any colour of eye. It's just the fact that I know that some of the colours I've picked have been recommended for blue eyes. Okay, so I've already got my foundation on, bronzer and blusher, feeling really weird about my eyes, so let's get going. Um, I'm going to use Bare Study, which is matte paint pot first, to prime my eyes. I also really like the um, Urban Decay, um, what is it, primer lotion? Potion primer, yeah. But basically, I just do this, so then all the eyeshadow will stay longer. And it does actually make a difference. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Max All That Glitters. Just a really nice, basic kind of warmer champagne shade. And I just put that into my inner, inner section of my eye. Then I'm going to use a little crease brush and Max Omega. I'm using all MAC Artly Shadows just because that's the palette I have on me at the moment. Omega is just like a very light kind of brown matte shade. Just pop it in my crease to get a bit of definition because no matter what I do, I always try to put at least a little bit in the crease. Makes you look a bit more alive. So I think I'm going to go with Max Amber Lights because it really makes my eyes pop. So it's a beautiful kind of rusty gold. And I'm just going to get a brush and I'm going to pack that all over my lid. It's quite a simple look to be honest. It doesn't take much time. Blending. Always blending. I'm pretty satisfied that's even, not sure. Oh, it looks really like, really, really gold on camera. And now I'm going to use a bit of Max Antiqued, so beautiful rusty brown colour. Um, like rusty copper. ready brown, yeah. yeah. Copper. And I'm just going to bring this along my lash line. And then up into the crease. And then blend again. It's not perfect yet, I'll go in and blend it all out in a minute. Then again, don't think my makeup's ever perfect, but you know. <laughs> so now I'm just going to blend it. Okay, now I'm just going to take the brush that had all that's glitters on earlier and just quickly wipe that under my brows and dishevel them at the same time because that's what I do apparently. I've got a weird gap in them at the moment. Don't quite know what's going on. So I'm just going to use now um, Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal liner in Elizabeth Violet. I love it just because it's not black and it's not quite as harsh and the purple really makes my blue eyes stand out as well. And also because they're so easy to use. Also, they last a long time. That's looking better. So I'm now just going to use my absolutely tiny, well-loved Urban Decay 24-7 um, pencil in Zero. This is my, I think, second or third one of this or something. And just because it actually stays on my waterline and does a really good job. I just put that in my top and bottom waterline. Because I do find if I put black all the way in my waterline that it makes my eyes look even smaller than they already are. And I'm obviously trying to do the opposite most days of my life, try and make them stand out a bit more. So, lastly, I think I'm going to go back into the Antiqued and just run that. So there we are, I've got a bit of antique under there now as well. And finally, time for mascara. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to put a clip in of me doing this, because I'm not sure that no, in any way, shape or form I can look remotely socially acceptable while putting mascara on. 
so there might be just a little clip after I'm done. And I always curl my lashes first because although I've got quite long lashes, they don't really, they're not very curly, so eyelash curler. Okay, there we are. I also forgot to say what mascara I was using. I'm using Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes in this lovely fancy get up. I actually much prefer the purple version of this. I can't can't remember the name, won't lie, but it's a lot better, um, mostly because this is really hard to get off. I'm not a waterproof mascara girl, I'm just a bog standard normal mascara girl, because I like getting it off and I don't have any problem with um, fallout or smudging or anything like that with normal mascaras, but yeah, this is really hard to get off, but it does the job really nicely. Okay then, otherwise than that, I admittedly just cleaned up as well, make sure that there was nothing under my eyes and otherwise than that I'm done. Okay so thank you very much for watching, um, please tune in again for one of my Zen's videos, hope that it was alright that I was on my own today and yeah, hope you try this at home, bye! <laughs> <laughs> down and it was just like I can't see myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of cutting isn't it?